Do you know how to leverage this JIRA feature for optimal project management? Join us in this detailed tutorial from our expert trainer who walks you through each step. Let's get started. In this video, we'll create our first automation in JIRA. Automation is a lot like the trigger and action type system of a Zapier or IFTTT, if this then that. And while those are third party services that can also work with JIRA, there are automations built directly into JIRA as well. And there are multiple places where we can go to create an automation rule, but probably the easiest is directly from our agile board using this little lightning bolt, and we can create an automation. But there's another place we can go that I wanna point out because over here on the left side, if we go to our project settings into automation, not only can we create rules here, but we can see there's a ton of templates that are pre-built that we can use right away. As with most things in Jira, Typically, we'll need to know what we want to do ahead of time. So we're not just creating an automation just for the sake of creating an automation. We want something specific to happen and then we create an automation to do that for us. So for this example, let's send our fictional development team leader, Valerie, an email anytime a large issue with more than five story points is completed. So let's come in here and create a new rule and we need to tell it what the trigger is so because we know what we want this to do, it's when an issue is completed, that is a transition between the issue statuses. So issues transitioned is the trigger. We can say what status from if we want a specific one or just leave it blank to match any status. And two, the done status, go ahead and click on next. Now we're gonna add a condition because we don't want to send Valerie an email anytime any issue is transitioned to done, but only if that issue has more than five story points. So the condition is going to be the fields. Story points are fields on issues. Let's come in and find the story points. There we go. And the condition is greater than five. Next. Now we need to tell Jira what happens when this rule runs. In this case, we're going to send an email to Valerie. There we go. And then we can just add in whatever sort of uh, subject we want. You can see we can use some smart tags here. So we can say, you know, the, the issue key. Oops. I was typing in the wrong field there. There we go issue key. There we go. And an issue greater than five story points was just completed. Click on next. Now let's turn on this rule so we can give a name. Let's say email Valerie five plus story points. Turn on this rule. And let's give it a test. Let's see how this goes. So let's come back to the project. We need to make sure that some of these issues actually have story points. I'm gonna remove the grouping here so it's easier to see. And let's take one of these and let's say this one, let's give it a, a value of three. So it's less than, so we make sure that that condition works. And then we're gonna take another one and we're gonna make this a value of six. So now when I take this and transition it to done, this one should not send an email, but this one should. So we should only get one email for that one issue. We can come in here and check the audit log just to make sure that, yep, okay, no action performed because it didn't hit that condition. This one is a success. So let's check Valerie's email and see if that email comes in right here. Might take a second for the email to come in. Let's refresh. There we go. We just got that email from the automation. And of course, if we need to modify this, we can just hop right back, come into our rules, open this up and make any sort of changes that we want. Like if we wanna change what the actual email is that gets sent. And as we saw, there's a ton of different combinations. There's a ton of different templates in here. I'd really encourage you to take some time in between videos to look at the different templates, the triggers, the conditions, the actions available in your JIRA installation, and start thinking about how you can take advantage of automations in JIRA. What was your favorite part of this tutorial? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.